also, I thought I'd um, obviously just get you on here to, to chat stuff, but I've also brought, I'm going to whip out my, my smart device, I've also brought some interesting, uh, exciting things you can learn about each other. Excellent. Are you getting Fascinating. Worried? Now I'm mildly terrified. Okay, yeah. right. So I learn a lot about myself from the internet. Well, I was thinking, like... No matter what he says, Dean, I didn't actually say it if you didn't hear it come from me. Okay. I think we could come out with some sort of Bill Clinton quote. <laughs> <thing. Yeah. laughs> I should have interviewed you both before we did this and then asked, like, well, what do you think Brian would have yeah, said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Should have done that. But I haven't. I'm not that good. I need to work on that. But we got a few amusing things. America is an amusing place. America. America. And obviously, being from New Zealand, I'm sure there are a lot of people that don't know much about New Zealand. So I'm going to educate the world right now. This is this is what I'm here to do. I'm intrigued. So anyway, note the first page about America a lot longer than the second page about New Zealand. We are pretty wow. awesome. Yeah. So there's a... I, you know, I, I look young, but I listen to Radio 4, which would essentially age me four years. There's a program on Radio 4 called The Unbelievable Truth where they do lectures about a subject and they have to squeeze five truths in it and the rest are lies, right? Yep. And commonly, what they do is they, they sneak truths about America in there. Because there are a few laws in America that still exist, but obviously no one rides by them. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah there are. Yeah, okay. So, um, let's start from the topic. In New Jersey, drivers must warn those they pass on the highway before they do so. I'm, I'm not from the East Coast, so I cannot, I cannot yeah. verify this. <laughs> it is illegal to wear a bulletproof vest while committing murder. Well, I mean, come on. It's, it's completely unfair. No, it's not just illegal. I think that's, uh, that's kind of rude, really. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> could <laughs> say it's well, unethical. I'm sporting. Yeah, how dare you? I, I, the, 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 the words before you die are, oh, that's illegal. <laughs> and, then you, and then you ring the police. Um, in Connecticut, it's illegal. You may not educate dogs. In case they become sentient or something? <laughs> Probably. Possibly. This will be our undoing. They, or someone might discover they're smarter than a congressman or something. Yeah, yeah, Possibly. That, Elect a beagle as president. Common. In Idaho, riding a merry-go-round on a Sunday is considered a crime. Let's be honest. There's a lot of things that happen in Idaho that are illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Riding a merry-go-round any time is probably illegal. Yeah, probably illegal for an anyway. adult anyway. Definitely. And of course in Virginia it is illegal to tickle women. You, you know, <laughs> no, here's a, here, I can interject something here. In the Czech Republic, so on sorry, Easter, guys. you actually walk around and you whip women with sticks. Okay. okay. And I guess in, that's in, a form of tickling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Age, that's that's, that's Slovakia, too. Yeah. 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 That's worrying. Um, Alabama, bear wrestling matches are prohibited. Of, of course. Well, I mean, it's, it's for the public safety. <laughs> I thought it was really? for the beers. <laughs> right. And uh, you may not play dominoes on a Sunday. Apparently that's illegal. What about those domino sculpture things they built? Or mahjong. Like, that's kind of dominoes. It's, it's, it's Eastern dominoes, maybe. I know. These are, they're just, this goes on. This is, I've only scratched the surface we here. Can, we can talk about this all day. A couple more. Yeah, we could. And tune in for that later. Um, a couple more for you, Brian. In, right. in Washington. This will relate to last all night. All right. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. This is your state. That, we don't talk about okay, last Okay, we don't. Night. Okay, well, all lollipops are banned in Washington. What? Yeah, I know. Uproar. Somebody needs to talk to the governor about yeah, this. Yeah. Sort that out. And, of course, it's illegal to paint polka dots on the American flag. I get that. Yeah. But in a state where marijuana is now legal, yeah. lollipops, that's too far, guys. Well, you know, mar marijuana in your lollipops. What, painting lollipops on the flag? <laughs> no, 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 he, he said... He said sorry, I, you guys <laughs> moved very fast there. I was still thinking about the polka dot flag or something. There's a beautiful comment in the uh, typical Dean Hall <laughs> no, interview. I saw that. I saw that. That was good. <laughs> I tune in for this, and it's just complete bollocks. I'm now moving to New Zealand. Please okay, do. the important thing. Okay, here we go. And a lot of them, you'll nod out and go, yeah, that's true. So in New Zealand, the Kia, a bird native to the New Zealanders, right, is known for pulling windscreen wipers off cars and eating strips of rubber from the windows. Absolutely. They say it's the smartest. They reckon it might be smarter than dolphins. Really? Yeah. Just driving And I think it should be our national bird. I don't oh, know why really? the Kiwi's our national bird. Yeah. It's lovable. It's, it's, it threatens no one. <laughs> it just dies. You look at it, and it's flightless, and it's on that the side of the plane. That actually reminds me of, of that threat that was made towards uh, towards you specifically right before we released the game. It said Dean Hall, 
release Daisy or else. And it was a picture of a kiwi bird getting ready to eat a kiwi fruit. Well, joke on oh, them, right. because I like the kias and not the kiwis. Right. Here we go. Jokes on them. Only 5% of New Zealand population is human. <laughs> the rest are animals. Oh, okay. All right. right okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. That's kind impl- of rude. We're, yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> not, <laughs> we're not implying anything. To the people of Auckland? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the first man to climb Everest was Dean Hall, so it was, was a key ring. <laughs> That's oh, right. There yep. you go. I didn't know that. Yeah. Ed Hillary. He was yeah. also the first to go to the North, South Pole and Everest. First person to At the same time. Well, <laughs> like, the back to possibly back. not. But he did drive to the South Pole on a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Things you learn from a Twitch mm-hmm. stream. This is what you need to know. Um, let's continue going. That if you, uh, they, <clears throat> they taught two rescue dogs. Uh, to drive, they taught them to drive a car around a track in order to prove the intelligence of oh, shelter animals. I saw this. Yeah, I saw this. Yeah, video, I saw it. It was a YouTube video. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> oh, dogs! Yes, right. The whole oh. office watched that. Yeah, it was amazing. Dogs, you know, yeah. cute little paws and stuff. Yeah. Like turn on the wheel like this. I still never learned half those drive. But. Um, Dean is obviously a big badminton player. Oh, huge. Oh, oh. absolutely. <laughs> so uh, you, you obviously know that the badminton team was called the Blackcocks, but after a year they had to change the name due to complaints. Right. So you're right. It's a fun police came yeah. in, really. Yeah, yeah. fun police. It's really, really a shame. I'd like to see the team uniforms for that. <laughs> Uh, a common, common bit of knowledge I, I, I mentioned in the office earlier, and someone immediately went, yeah, I knew that. In 1990, the New Zealand Prime Minister appointed a national wizard. Yes, he did, in Christchurch. Yeah. Yeah, he's crazy. And, this is even more weird, I mentioned this, one Mike Channel of Outside Xbox, the wizard is his uncle. Mm-hmm. That guy is Mike Channel's uncle. Wow, is I it, did not know that. Does that count as actually a member of, his, of the Prime Minister's official cabinet? <laughs> Austin, why are you looking at me? <laughs> You've got the facts. <laughs> the facts. Yes. Um, the internet. And now we're going for a more hardcore topic. Okay. If you're having your dinner, just push it out of the way quickly, right? This is, uh, obviously we have, we have an American with us, so uh, close your ears when it comes to sport. <laughs> yes, okay, right, okay, okay. all right. And I, I made a note in this saying, hardcore New Zealander. Rugby player Wayne Shelford got his scrotum ripped open mid-game in a bad tackle. He was taken off the field with one testicle literally hanging out, got stitched up on the bench, and continued the game. That's right, rugby. What can we say? There are no words for this. Yes. I don't think I should have covered my ears for the sport portion of this. As much as the rest. <laughs> the sport round that's going on. have nightmares now. 94% of all prisoners in New Zealand are male. I, I, I imagine that statistic would be high in most developed nations. But this is the best one, other than scrotum ripping, which is obviously great. Yes. There are more vending machines in Japan than there are people in New Zealand. But what kind of vending machines? I've heard all sorts of weird rumors yeah, about yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll probably leave oh. that one <laughs> yeah. to the side. <laughs> Don't Google that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hope you learned a bit about each other. I feel like I've learned nothing about Dean. Oh, okay. Maybe next time you should bring along facts about the English or something. I, I think perhaps Dean has learned that when I go home, I need to address this lollipop <laughs> issue. But I, I, I still don't understand the lollipop issue. Yeah. So the one minute we're talking about flags and polka dots and... So it's a big problem. Right, 